Hi everyone, it's me, Mike. Today is the turn for the pronouns. We're gonna divide them in two groups, the singular ones and the plural ones. The first person is the one who's speaking, that means yo, which is I in English. The second person is the one with whom I'm talking, that means tú, which is you in English. However, in Spanish we have a formal version of the second person, usted, which is employed when we address older people than us, an authority like a teacher, a police officer, a priest or in any formal situation, especially with people we don't know or to whom we should show respect. The third person is the one who I am talking about, that is to say él or ella, which is he or she in English. Now, let's see the plural forms. The first person plural is represented by nosotros, when it's about a group of boys or boys and girls. Nosotras for only girls. The second person plural is represented either by vosotros or ustedes. Vosotros for a group of boys or boys and girls. Vosotras for girls only. Ustedes is evidently the plural for the singular pronoun usted. That means that's the plural formal form. Nevertheless, in Latin American Spanish, it is employed in any situation since the pronoun vosotros is never used there. The third person plural is ellos and ellas. Ellos is used to refer to a group of men or both men and women, while ellas is used to refer to a group of only women. In summary, these are our pronouns in Spanish. Yo, tú, usted, él, ella, nosotros, nosotras, vosotros, vosotras, ustedes, ellos, ellas. Now, let's combine them with a verb in order to make some examples. Our first verb will be el verbo ser, to be in English, which we can use it to introduce ourselves or do descriptions. Let's conjugate it in some examples. Yo soy Ricardo, soy estudiante. For I am Ricardo, I am a student. Tú eres muy inteligente. Or usted es muy inteligente. For you are very intelligent. Él es Juan y es abogado. He is Juan and he is a lawyer. Ella es muy hermosa. She is very beautiful. Nosotros somos hermanos. We are siblings. Vosotros sois los ganadores. Or, ustedes son los ganadores. You are the winners. Ellos son amigos. For, they are friends. Only male friends. Ellas son amigas. For the case, uh, for the feminine case. In Spanish conjugation, the verb changes depending on each pronoun. Therefore, it's not mandatory to use the pronouns when speaking, since they are deducible from the conjugation itself. Then, soy Pedro is the same as yo soy Pedro. Somos hermanos is the same as nosotros somos hermanos. In fact, in most cases, we refer to the pronouns only in order to emphasize in what we want to say. Otherwise, we can easily admit it. Did you like the lesson? If you did, please subscribe and share. This is all for today. Esto es todo por hoy. See you in the next time. Hasta la próxima.